This is a Goodyear lifeguard tire inner tube, and I picked them up at the dump. Oh, you know, thinking there's a whole pile of tubes, and thinking some of the tubes might be decent for, uh, you know, snow tubes or whatnot. And this thing here intrigued me because it was really, really heavy. I ended up with two of them. Now, I looked them up online, and they're a bulkhead tube. So they are a tube inside of a tube, and they must have some sort of goo in there, because as you can see, it's still stuck to this tube right here. And some of the uh, advertisements I saw for them uh, say that they're self-sealing. I don't know. I know that I had to drill out the valve stem in order to get any air to go into it. So there's got to be something in there, and the fact that it's still stuck together. Anyways, I thought we would uh, open it up. You ready to open it, buddy? It's going to hiss at us. I picked the worst of the two. I thought really hard about selling them to some car collector or whatnot. Maybe they'd want it, but the thought of me being liable because you had a blowout and killed your family in a 20 year old inner tube look there's where the inner tube was seamed right there there's a seam run right through there it's got a lot of rot down in here um, the flap or uh, boot is really quite thick uh, they're uh, 650 15 I do still feel a little bit bad about this because I know they're an old classic, but... Oh well. Okay, so there is that inner... inside inner tube. Okay, so there's how they work. They've got this little valve here. So the valve stem goes into the inner tube, the bulkhead tube. See, these things never would have held up. They're all sticky and gooey with whatever that junk is there. But they fill up this inner inner tube right here. Yeah. And then it overflows out through this tiny little hole right here. And then that inflates the outer inner tube. So that, no, no, but this is mine. So that if uh, a puncture were to take place, it can't deflate the inner inner tube instantly. So that it allows you, I guess, to come to a controlled stop. No wonder they were so heavy. With all that stuff inside and that goo in there. Is it going to blow this bunny up? <laughs> Probably not. Let's cut open right here. Oh, this inner, inner tube. That inner tube's top. Look at that. It's like a small car tire. Wow. It's cloth belted. It's about an eighth of an inch thick. Let's 
So there's where the valve stem comes in. They kind of missed with this valve stem thing. And then the flap must take off and the flap takes off right here next to the valve stem and goes in. Well that's fascinating. Look at that. All cord belted. Dang. Maybe I should have sold these to a, a classic collector. Now that I see what they look like inside, I know that the dry rotting in around the boot is nothing. Nothing whatsoever to the durability of the tire. Maybe I just did a bad thing. It's fascinating though. Very fascinating. And this one seems to be somewhat permanently stuck to that inner ring right here. I don't know if that ever would have uh, broken loose on its own. Maybe if you heated it up, filled the car tire and set it in the hot sun. The other inner tube was also stuck and when I aired it up, it did eventually pop loose on this. So, I don't know. I bet the liability issue, especially living in the United States where uh, we sue people when we spill coffee on ourselves because oh, it was hot. Go figure. Um, yeah, probably better I cut it open, but fascinating thing. There's the little, the little flapper valve, and you can see the, the belting. This is like a, the inside of a car tire. They say these were tubes designed to last a hundred thousand miles and some of them show uh, hundreds of nail punctures in it and I bet before this stuff dried out in here uh, I bet you I bet you she would seal up thick tubes no matter what use it as a snow tube maybe fascinating 